but don't flop all fucking day, you know the score at Twitter on the Twitter and the Instagram, all that good shit. We are back here, it's the Don't Flop birthday 6.5. <laughs> We're fucking tying up some loose ends and shit. First battle of the whole weekend, everybody make some noise, let's go! <laughs> you know the score, DFA and Don'tflopshop.com, don'tflop.com, big up all the squad in the building, all the team and all the fans that come out. This is the first battle of the entire weekend. These two people have had a couple battles on Don't Flop Extra. This is their first battle for the main channel, so congratulations to them for that. Alright, MC on my right hand side, battle number three. Make sure you check his two on Don't Flop Extra. Third battle in Don't Flop. Make some noise for Rob Wilson. Let's go! Alright, shout out to him. And uh, yeah, on the left hand side, smash this tryout. Make sure you watch that if you haven't seen it. This is the second battle in the league. Make some noise for Heretic. Let's go! Yeah. Alright, if both of you judged, I was cool with it being promo. They want to win it. That's all good. Rob chose to go first, which first oh, round and battle of the weekend on Rob Wilson. Let's go. Alright, yo. Listen, Dark Alex, you are tragic, you can't manage these bars, faggot, you should have eased out. Cause he was in over his head when he was booked for me now. Cause this is home crowd, he knows now he should make Leeds proud, but no. This dog's been dropped in deep water and he's putting Leeds down. He thinks he'll walk out this event with the unanimous decision, but if Tony wins in more than one way, Harry he isn't winning, but Manny's on a mission to battle and battle children, but the fact that he is driven to clash with me is a given. Faggot, they won't listen to the crap you've written. This match is branded with Wilson, like rackets down at Wimbledon. Famine bit, I'm killing him, but damn, it's the beginning. Try to take this on the chin? Chin up like happy citizens. And if you think of others... <laughs> yeah. And if, you think, and if you think of holding back and spitting all because of man's religion? No. This heretic's getting battered by a Christian like the Spanish Inquisition. Mm. Hey, but I saw your tryout. And it was okay, I mean, on that Christmas day you rapped. What you spit was great. In fact, what you did was make some fans who think you're sick but make you whack. I mean, consider the age gap between the prick you slated and we can see you made your name off a kid like Kate McCann. Mm. <laughs> but I do admit, against that lad verbal, you sm he smashed the ball. Tis admirable, but never did he think that Safari'd spot an animal. He gassed about this last battle, but didn't get paid for travel. He thought that London was his, but he hadn't got the capital. <laughs> Thus, you're such a crude and ugly dude. Your arrogance disgusts my view of life itself. So try and tell <laughs> Gosh, I know. So try and tell <laughs> So try and tell this guy you're swelled and just assume I'll beat you black and fucking blue, but since you're black you'll just be blue, this blood is blue. <laughs> I'll beat you black and fucking blue, but since you're black, you'll just be blue. This brother's rude. Feel carpet burns when I pull the rug from under you. Mm. Two of you could have won this feed, but the one could prove that rubbish true. Because with two of you in front of dude, I still would get the W. Mm. You think you're top, you're so arrogant, you think you're top tier after one battle. And you think we're funny with an attitude like that? You won't win here, Sonny. Because saying you're top tier, that ain't sincere, dummy. I'm gonna have to work your ass for that mid tier money. <laughs> You see, you talk about the age gap between me and Kid Verbal, but bro, that's trite. He's 18, so am I. So I heard that Wob Wilson reckons he can test me, cause he wants to be one of the next respected MCs. They said the steezy reps will be ejecting lead from text, please. You've come to Don't Flop looking like Heather out of fresh meat. <laughs> See, I wanted to pick you apart, discredit and wipe floors Cause you're not academically bright and aesthetically your genetics are quite poor But I feel like my lines will make you cry if they're said with the right force Cause you're such a fucking neaky munchkin, you're too pathetic to write for <laughs> Cause you've got that, I keep my socks on to have sex kind of swag. <laughs> I keep my socks on to have sex kind of swagger. You're that, I've had my best nights playing a website at chess type of gang. <laughs> and since you only ever repeat dead lines for laughter, the laughs you've had to resurrect like the next vines from Dapper. Mm. <coughs> 
music. See, I don't use the hard persona, and I'm happy with it. You parody it, because your real personality's shit. <laughs> your main blow to Crescendo was to say he's not a gangster, when in the very same round, you said you'd pop a magnum. <laughs> but I heard you like studying philosophy. But any knowledge you have will change no fate Cause when I spray those flames They know your fate because H throws shade That's Plato's cave So in my last round I may have stated his, his arrogance But that's the mainstay of this battle shit you're mistaken, mate, if they're gassing him because of his great state of the clash he was in. Truthfully, he's food for me. And that's the main shape of this match to win. Don't flop have done him dirty. He can't take David backstabbing him. You think don't flop are pushing him in the same place that Raptor's in? No. Don't flop are pushing him in the same grave I put Catchy in. <laughs> but in the lead up to this battle, he tweeted beef because he's a dick online. Like that, like that leak from Bleak. But despite this smack talk, he won't squeeze the heat. He made a pass on the road like FIFA Street. But this sneak has been... <laughs> this sneak has been to speak to Leeds. But he won't keep his shriek. He'll receive this beat like he's got an instrumental and he's gonna spit so mental like on that 16 bar challenge you'll need to see I mean he spits the deepest schemes please it's weak but the sheep believe he's achieved his peak even the staff seem to think it's ether C and that's the reason he can be with me it's like that MTV show the one where geeky team scream and plead for their party to be neat pristine cuz he can only greet the screen cuz of his sweet 16 yeah. so go ahead trash talk Gas more if you're damn sure, you'll beat me heavily But you lose weight when being bold, that's chemotherapy You'll rule it with your lines like a metre measure G I'll turn this ruler to a salad like Caesar's legacy But me, I'm very sweet, I'll leave intestines leaking like Sea anemones when I see an enemy If he needs, if he needs his friends to be Tweeting threats to me to ease the tension so he's feeling better Please leave the premises, it's Pete pathetic He'll get shot down when taking the back seat like he's John Kennedy but he's here now, and he'd like to win by decision. Despite the kid, my life, my lyrics, what I will spit is my prediction of the chief angles this guy has written. He'll claim that I'm a Christian, while insisting a heretic is someone who defies religion. So he's written three rounds about how I've been tripping because I believe up there there's divine existence. But away from all that, we ain't quite as different if we take one look at the life he's living. All he ever tweets about is the shite he's drinking. I'm not the only one whose life is defined by spirits, so... Mm. <laughs> So stop talking about the fossil stout and buds every day. You can say that all I rap about's a gun I display, but even if that was true, we would just be the same, because without those cans, we both would then have nothing to say. Time. Mm. Yeah. Speaking of Twitter, you were talking about bringing six vegan jokes. Bitch, please, I'll grind you down and then dip like I do with my chickpeas. <laughs> <laughs> and you can say I don't eat meat when you spit rounds, it's true, but don't act like me or Ogmios wouldn't beat the shit out of you. <laughs> you see, people laugh at you, not with you. That's why you're the one that the staff diss, and I've had to be pretty methodical when I planned this. So if you ever doubted that I had this, just look back at the transcript. My line's always on top, like I write verses in Sanskrit. Mm. But let's talk about church. Since you worship heavily, see my abuse of this child will be the worst of felonies since the clergy's legacy. Mm. And you can cry to your preacher, Rob, because you've heard it's heresy. I'm just setting Christian boys straight. That's conversion therapy. <laughs> so you got a couple of battles deep. And man, YouTube was hyping. Word was that Wob Wilson was the new kid that's writing. <laughs> Word was that Wob Wilson was the new kid. <laughs> the new kid that's rhyming, I thought. This dude could be frying, or is June sick and grimy? Could he be the David to slew a Goliath? Is he abusive, defiant, a true Christian titan? Or has someone just dragged a Chinese lesbian through River Island? <laughs> uh, yo, 
Round three. Round three. <laughs> I live this shit! <laughs> You're about to get clapped, that's that Wilson shit! I don't need no gun bars to kill this prick, I'ma put him with angles until he flips, cause my research game, amazing. This fella ain't winning. I found out he does yoga. That's gay, he won't get the decision. <laughs> But I've got more than that angle to sever and kill him, so like yoga, he's getting stretched out at every position. Yeah. But Heretic's written a depth called Positions. He puts it on track and he sells it to children. But it's not said that he did it himself, because he'd never be selling the digits, collecting the figs without all the help that his parents have given. Pretending they didn't, pathetic and shit, and I bet they've been helping this clever digit as he's prepped for the win. He's assembled a bit, saying, I don't make songs, so I've shared my ambition. Forgetting that if not for money his parents have spent on the kid, then we definitely wouldn't be any more different. Because oh. if the dude wants to make his, Music amazing, he'd have to ask his dad for money to go through to create it. You dig yourself a hole every time you have to pay shit, but you dig yourself out with the silver spoon you were raised with. Because your parents run a TV company called Isis Media. <laughs> Research, bitch. Uh, they give a lot of help to man. They give a lot of help to man. You've got hits on the net like Boris Becker cause your parents have a lot of money which they give to you. This the Lost Endeavour fam, they work for ISIS but I'm the kid who's chopping heads on cam. Mm. Oh, and that's a fact fam. Cause if you never had cash, you'd be like me. A sad twat who acts as if he has gats, we'd act bad. Your, your gunplay wouldn't be as dope as mine is lad damn cause these headshots, amazing. They'll blow your mind and that's that. So him shooting me, you know that I won't have that. Life will flash before this bloke's eyes the moment the guy gets this flash back. And I'm sorry, I said I wasn't gonna do gun bars. <laughs> You'd think this bar would know what's best, but neither can you rap about sparking oh, toast you play. <laughs> That's not a fact. I, this knob won't have gun bars to show and test because he's a posh twat as long as his father owes him rent. Let's go. <laughs> In your first battle, you said, Hooks go into your head like a catchy song! <laughs> and in your second battle, well, you almost took a hook to the head from catchy. Because <laughs> <laughs> you said some mad disrespectful shit about his absent father, and yeah, that punchline hit, but his fist was about to smash you harder. See, that could have been your time to prove you're really strapped with llamas, but instead you trembled and called time while some shit dribbled down your garters. <laughs> But credit where it's due, in that battle, you had your real defining moment. The finest punchline opus that Rowan Fife had posted. And he, he knew that sink in line would bring him shine until we focused and we noticed that that joke quote had been online for time and that you stole it. <laughs> and then you went to Twitter and said, nice to have a body bag under my belt. <laughs> <laughs> nice to have a body bag with me, huh? but he choked before you said anything, he bodied himself. <laughs> so really what I think it's about time you checked your ego. It's about time you checked your ego, cause your most memorable bar, stolen from a meme quote, you lost to Cray, only won against Catchy because he choked, so why do you think you can battle me and then leave without getting 3 would mm. So calm down with the anger, cause it's cringy and you know, stop jumping up and down like some twitchy Aggie gnome. Don't <laughs> Don't get all aggressive like you spit the baddest flow Cause you look like Short Round from Indiana Jones <laughs> Guys, Brucey, go get your brutality tees out now. Pagnell's got one already, sexy bastard. Yo, it's Rob Wilson, Heretic. Um, I thought Rob Wilson got the first, he spat more bars than Heretic. Second one, uh, Heretic definitely got him. And then I thought Heretic took the third. I just think like Rob Wilson, he's just like, he, he sounds like too many MCs I've heard. Like, he's just he's seeming to just clone the pattern that a lot of tryouts are doing. And he also is saying that my man's posh and he's wearing brogues and like some top shop sweaters. Like my opinion in it, just thought that's what it was, so yeah, give it to Harry to come that far.
Yeah. They were shocked, just judging uh, Rob Wilson and Heretic. Um, they were a lot more evenly matched than I thought they'd be, to be fair. Um, both had some good material. Rob Wilson's the truth, man. I've got to give that to Heretic, 3 0. It wasn't a body bag, but I think his material hit harder. Yeah, just watching Rob Wilson versus Heretic, um, I would say overall, probably Heretic got the battle for me. Um, Rob Wilson, nice with his motives, but I just don't think he punched enough, you get me? And like, obviously, Heretic more well rounded to the like about the whole battle, so yeah. Yeah, yo, what's good is Impact. Okay, just watched Heretic versus Rob Wilson. I'm gonna give that one to Heretic. 3 0. I think uh, Rob Wilson's got potential, but I think Heretic's a lot more like well rounded. So yeah, Heretic. Cool. Uh, yeah, it was Danny Jack from here. Uh, Danny Jack on Twitter. Uh, yeah, I gave that to Heretic 2 uh, 1 just because he's dead. Heretic stumbled in the second round, but yeah, I think uh, Rob Wilson needs to find his feet, but Rob Wilson is good and it wasn't like a body was close, but yeah, big up. But Yo, what's good? It's Earl back here, Don't Flop Birthday 6.5, you know the deal. Shouts to the wardrobe for having us back for the fourth time. It was the first battle of the weekend, the opening battle, both of their second and third respective battles. It was Rob Wilson going up against Heretic, but the dude picking up the first win of the weekend is Heretic. Make some noise. <laughs>